Ah, grasshoppers, let's have a bit of country and western. Don't be rude, old chap. You want Mal Norton's magic? TV! From the heart of the creative ocean city, which is Plymouth, this is Mal Norton Magic TV. Ideas of Tricks of the Week. With, of course, Jamie. Hello, Mal. Mal. Captain Zed. Hey, what? What? Oh. God, you have so many customers in here today, Mal. Oh, yeah. And it's a nice, hot, so and sultry so second of August. So busy. Welcome to the magic shop and the awkward customer. Welcome to the smallest magic shop in the world, and welcome to the darkest window. If you got this, you, you see the world's darkest window. It was clean last time I saw it. No, it's been clean, Jamie. It's all right. Okay. Yeah, about six weeks ago. Now, little box inside the which is this beautiful. Can I examine the box? Pearl? Of that? Yes, you can examine. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the most awkward customer spectator <laughs> you will ever see. I like to examine things, right. so to speak. You have examined it. Put the if elastic. I cut that box, put that there. Put the elastic band around it to keep the lid in place. Okay. <laughs> That's if the elastic band snaps, what would happen? Depends where you snap it. It'll cost you. A new elastic band. How much do you charge for elastic bands in here? Oh, they're very expensive. Can okay. you have another elastic band go across the other way? Make it like an England flag? Um, you could, but I haven't got another elastic band, so you'll have to make do with that one. Do you know you, they used to, um, they um, they okay. used to use yep. elastic bands to castrate right. sheep? One elastic band, round box. Get it nice and central there. Please examine the small ball. <laughs> I'm used to that. That um, I'm used to is that now flying things. across the floor. Now it's gone right by your legs. Is it? You've got balls in between your legs. Oh. You're quite right to have. Oh, oh. It's supposed to be family friendly to the, this one. Right. Oh, Please examine the ball. Okay, examine the ball. If I examine the ball. Let's see. Please oh. don't shh. I, I think I, I think I examined it a bit too much, by the way. That's good. I'll take you to my back. I'll, I'll take you there, shopping with me anytime. It's okay. Like that. Mm, right. So you've examined the box. You examined the ball. Now watch as a miracle occurs. As the ball goes right through a solid. Oh, <laughs> oh let's <laughs> try that again. Right through a solid. That's amazing. That's magic. Box, and of course Jamie will insist on taking the box and removing the elastic band and examining everything for himself. Can I do this check? Might I do this check? That's right. Okay. How much is that one? Three pounds fifty. That's good for a bore. Uh, if you if you hold it too much, you see it disappears, <laughs> and I. Um, Ooh, look at that. Okay, watch the ball ready. Watch the ball ready. Watch the ball ready. See? Oh, back in. Is that a good trip, Mal? Satisfaction? Yeah. You do that. Just like, go like this, what are you doing? Do it like this. See, like that. Just say, watch the ball. And you'll go like, somehow you'll like, go it like, yeah. um... <laughs> <laughs> do, like do you like my hair? Go. Have you got your 3D glasses ready? Well, turn around a minute. Another good haircut by the barber in Plymouth. Yep. Okay. Jay, Jay that's the name I was looking for. Mal's barber. Jay used to work at my. Oh other my goodness! If that was my barber. Oh now, now he's done my hair. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going back to him again. Okay. Um, what are you doing today, Jamie? I'm going to do a string trick. Okay. No strings attached. You see, so we got two poles. Yeah. If one. If one's long, the other's short. They're not Englishmen then. It's a strange the shape of the boards. Okay. So if, so if I pull this one down, this one should go up. Okay. Ready? So if I, so if I pull this one down like this, that one should go up like that. See? Okay. Now, That's cool. Uh, Interesting. 
And if I just pull this one down like this, the other one would go up like this. So if I pull this one like that, see? That's so clever. Uh, so where can you get that trick from? You can get it here in Miles Magic Shop on the Barbican, South Side Street. And how much is that? How much is this, this trip, Mal? A tenner. A tenner. Only a tenner! Only a tenner! Mal, can you take this? Okay. Um, that's, so if um, you pull that string down... From the smallest on, magic shop in Plymouth in the house that Jad built. See? See that? That's amazing! <laughs> yeah. You can do it long distance. So you could be in New York and do that, Mal. And Jim, you can pull the other end. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go look like that. So have you any more tr tricks for today, Jamie? Ready, Mouse? So if I well, hold on to that bit, ready, Chris? Okay. If I pull this one down like this, let's see, this one's good, ready? That's interesting, oh. it's really good. I'm just, I'm just reading. Nice one. So what other tricks have you got for today, Jamie? I don't know. What's my doing? Well, I got a close-up mat. See? How much is this close-up mat, Mal? How much is this mat? Uh, well, what it is and what I might have sold it to you are two different things. You can get <laughs> close-up. If you want, if you want Jamie, a close-up mat... Jamie, did you hear about the rabbit that went to the restaurant? We also have... Uh, no. And he wanted a cheese and ham toasty. Really? And every day for a year, he went into the restaurant for a cheese and ham toasty. And then they ran out of cheese and ham, so he had a pineapple... They asked him whether he'd like a pineapple and tomato toasty, and he didn't really want that, but he had it anyway. And he never took, he didn't come back for nearly a year. And the uh, the restaurant owner was contemplating one afternoon in the restaurant, and he th was wondering where the rabbit had gone. And then all of a sudden, the rabbit appeared in a cloud, and he said, "I've been away for a while. I've died." He said, "Why did you die?" He said, I was mixing me toasty. Steez. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Thank you. Mal, can I, can I get some more sponge balls? Um, you can get some more sponge balls, but I'm not sure as if these people on no. camera really want to see you purchase no. sponge balls. OK, can you turn the camera off now while I get some sponge balls from Mal? OK. <laughs> Camera's off. <laughs> what do you want sponge balls, you weirdo? Have a look in the box. That's super soft. Remember those black ones I got? Mm. I don't like the small ones. Do you like the medium sized ones? They're the medium sized ones. They're the camera's off, Jamie, off. by the way. Can I get out like a big bag? Why? How much are these? Because what I want to what because what I want to do, I want to like do like a grand finale and like all well, the balls end up in their hands. Little ones, because make... look at Chris like, in his, with my balls. He likes balls. We like balls. Do you, where's, where's the green ones that you use? Uh, I haven't got any green ones. Oh, well. Uh, you did. I have those. Are you going to do your sponge ball trick, Jamie? Can, those black balls? Can I get like a bag? Like, then? That's right. For like a good price? Um, well, why would you want a whole bag? Because I would. But these are better. Mitch, you'd have to um, squeeze quite a lot up in the... Uh, it would be difficult to... How do you do it? You go in your pocket and go, yeah, hold on to If uh, Don McLean sold a record... Jamie, <laughs> a board for uh, the Mal, they would... Uh, um, Mal, if Don McLean sold one of his records... Are these good boards to use, Mal? Can I just finish the line? Just a minute. Yeah. If Don McLean sold one of his records... Would he sell it for a Vincent Price? Uh, I asked a friend of mine, got the cards. Oh look, he did. So consequently we have here uh, half a dozen cards. Giant playing cards. Can, I, can I eat some of the cards? No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Cut playing cards. There's nothing to examine. Look, it's cardboard. Shut up. Okay. Well, you don't need to cut the cards, they've already been cut. Yes, I, I do. So, if I were to uh, gather them up in two piles, we effectively have two piles of cards. Can I cut the cards even more? Identical cards. Can I cut the cards even more? No, you can't. I will do it for you. Do there some scissors. Go. In fact, I will mix them up. If I've got some scissors, cut See. the cards across along the other way, what would you do, Mal? Um, I would be very upset because <laughs> it would mean I couldn't do the trick. Uh. Now I will allow you 
So they just square it up. Just like to cut the cards into. Oop. Just I like your shirt. Where did you get back? Get it from, Jim? I got my shirt, uh, Matterland. Matterland. Cut complete. Yes. You can okay. Cut. Right. There is effectively twelve. In fact, your shirt here. almost matches the card cover. Pick a number between one and twelve. 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 Yeah. Would you like it to be counted from here or here? Uh, Basically, bottom. do you want the top card or the bottom card? Bottom. Right, which brings us to the top card, because that's card number 12. Is this the card you want, or this card? I want the bottom card. You want the bottom card, okay. Fair enough. You like it on the bottom? Do you want to change your mind? Well, I'll go for that card. You're going to go for that card. We are now going to use a magic spell. We're going to spell magic. Yeah. The following card will be yours. How do you spell magic? It goes M A. G I C. It's a kind of magic. And ladies and gentlemen, as he turns over the cards, you'll discover a miracle has occurred. They match. Ooh. Can you buy the trick in there, Mal? Not yet, no. Will it be available in here at some point? It will be, it will be. And how much will it cost? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm making I, a talk, yeah. I have to write the instructions out first. Yeah, well, you have to do it, yeah. not only will you get one trick, you'll get a second trick that goes like this. Now, if you remember, we've still got all these cards here. So we're going to try more or less the same thing using the magic spell. For each letter, I'm going to take one card from the top of the pile and put it to the bottom. But Jamie here, in his infinite wisdom, is going to select which pile it ha happens for for each letter. Okay. So which part do you want me to start with? This one here, okay. The first spell is make, so m, a, k, e. Eh. It's like oh. countdown. Okay. The, t, oh, what did I was ahead of you there? H, e, the. And hopefully these last two cards, da -da, they match. But then again, so do these two cards, so do these two <laughs> cards, so do these two cards. Wow, look at that. So Gee, it's so cool. These two cards. Yeah, it's Is it self-working now? Years of practice and self-denial. That's always the story of my life as well. Mm, not sure and yes, this will be available from here very soon. When? When I've finished writing the instructions. And how many tricks have you got here for sale at the moment? I've uh, no idea. Hundreds. And they sell very quickly, so people have to dive in and either see them on Mal mm. Norton's Magic TV International. What do you well, apparently there is this new um, site that you can go and look at all sorts of strange Ooh, things. Oh, it didn't, did, did it not work for you? <laughs> Oh dear. Put him out. Let's cut the cards like this. Can not? Did this have that card? It, yeah, it works very well with your top what card. Is it? Matches. Does it match? No. No. Never mind. He'll be able to do it one day. Well, thanks a lot for the trick of the week this week. Thank you, Mara. I better get home now. Quick and we're going to see home. you next week for yeah. another exciting series in the. Five years of tricks of the week. Did you see yourself at the pannier market the other day? Um, I haven't met me in the pannier market, but I do seem to uh, remember seeing something uh, lurking online. Ah. Uh, well, thank you, Chris. Thank you, Jamie. Well, and I've, thank you, Mal. I've seen me before. For the privilege of oh, recording you your are very talent over the last four years. I really can't argue with that. Thank you all for that. Thanks
to Mar Norton TV International with Jamie. Music with great thanks by Gary Leonard and Chris Oxen. You can find them both on Facebook. And of course, YouTube. This has been a Chris Summerfield Free Smart TV production 2019. If you can help to sponsor my videos, you can pay per me at ccs one at email.com. Don't forget to share and subscribe to the videos. It's a lot of stuff. Nah!